here and welcome back to another Wild Hush Islands video. So, I know that it is kind of hard to get through the maze here, so I am going to show you the the path to get to the center of the maze. So, of course what you can do is you can always give Henry Jr. 100 autumn tokens, but if you, one, do not feel like giving him those tokens, because it gets rid of your money, or if you, you know, are kind of broke like I am, then that may not be the best option. But I have memorized the trail path, whatever you call it, relatively well. So what you're going to want to do is when you enter, just go into the maze, uh, collect all um, tokens and autumn uh, keys you see. So you're going to want to just start off by going this way, then like that. I'll go a little slower, but you're just going to want to take this path that I'm showing you right here. At some points it may get slightly confusing, but trust me, uh, it does get better. You're just going to want to go through here, and you can of course slow this video down if this is at all confusing to you, which, I mean, to be frank, it may be to certain people. But it's relatively simple to get to the beginning of the maze. Or to get to the end of the maze, I should say. Let's get the autumn coin. So we now have a hundred autumn coins, so that's good. But relatively at this point what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to follow the maze. And f please feel free to go back in the video to see if you're confused on something. And if you want me to make a video explaining it better, then just let me know. But yes, that is how you get through the maze without um, getting lost or anything like that. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!